Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X dot E dot L dot O. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. And thank you for coming back. But if you are new here, definitely like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so I'll let you know when I drop another video. If you are here for beats, I have a link below. It's called Beats You Need. You can go there for all your beat needs, or you can just go directly to the website. It's going to be X E L O H H dot com. You can come here for all your beat needs, all your graphic needs, and all your mixing and mastering needs as well. That's X E L O H H dot com. What's up? Welcome back. Thank you guys for coming back to the channel. I know I just gave y'all the five VSTs that you need for the like the instruments. Now I'm gonna give you some effects that you need in Cakewalk. You ready? Let's go. Alright, let me move my big face out the way. Alright, so here we are in Cakewalk, and this is my light theme. If you do like this theme or my dark theme, you can definitely download them below in the link. Uh, and if you're not sure how to install themes, I do have a video showing you how to install the themes as well. So let's get kind of right into it. And um, I'm just going to try to find a sample first. All right. And um, shout out to Kyle Beats. I'll just use one of his beats in here. All right, I'm just gonna loop this. Uh, all right, so let's get into the effects. All right, so the first must have that you must have in Cakewalk is gonna, I'm gonna say, is uh, Melda Productions. Melda Productions gives you like 30 something VSTs right off the bat. I think it's like 37 of them in here. Um, right off the bat, you get, you know, your pan, your pitches, you get band bypasses. So if you don't have any effects whatsoever, just go to Melda Productions, download their free ones, and then you'll have 37 plugins to use for different things. Like I'm pretty sure it has something for almost everything. So there's like saturation in here. There's like a tremolo. There's a turner which is a uh, pretty cool kind of give you like the notes of whatever um, is actually being played. Um, if you get it for anything, uh, definitely do it uh, for the uh, auto pitch. This is um, basically their version of auto tune. It's uh, really, really dope. And um, I've actually been sleeping on the Melda stuff. Yeah, I still have the free stuff. So this uh, M Auto Pitch is is just as good as the Brilliant 2, uh, at least from when I've been using it so far. And it's easy to see, you know, what notes you want to actually be on. Um, if you want any minor or major or a pentonic note, um, it's real easy to, to kind of get what you need uh, out of it. And you see it puts the keys there to make sure you're always in tune. Um, you know, you have your dry, wet, and this is the thing that actually makes it really good is this formant shift. And this is why a lot of people use uh, Ultra Boy, to, so they can actually do that formant shift on their uh, vocals or whatever they're actually putting the Ultra Boy on. So, yeah, definitely get Melda uh, Productions. Really, really good stuff. Um, I know a lot of people use their uh, compressor. And a compressor is really dope as well. And it also gives you an option to sidechain. As you see here, you can enable the sidechaining for it and just sidechain it to another track. Uh, just like you would if you're using the Sonatas uh, compressor inside a Cakewalk as well. Same thing, uh, just gives you a nicer interface. Um, yeah, it's really good plugins. So remember that. Definitely go to Melda Effects to get all these plugins that you need from here. It's so mean to kind of go through and pick through all of them. But I say it's a must have because it gives you pretty much everything you'll probably ever need to mix whatever you're doing. So that's why I say definitely get that. 
All right, so the next plugin I would say definitely you want to get is called Wider. Um, this here will actually help um, your mixes. If, if it's like a really thin kind of instrument or you actually want to bring it to make it spread out more, this Wider um, helps out a lot. It doesn't actually do the uh, phasing like a lot of other like imagers, kind of like the isotope stuff, like kind of gives it like that phasing kind of thing. This actually doesn't do it. It just kind of spreads it out. I have no idea how they do it, how they thought of it, but it works. Um, did you see it's not phasing or anything? It's just spreading out the sound. Once again, I, I definitely recommend the wider uh, plugin. Um, it's it's something that is definitely a must-have uh, for Cakewalk. All right, and the next one is an oldie but goodie is Isotope Vinyl. You must have this plugin if you're doing any kind of lo-fi, hip-hop, even R&B-ish kind of stuff. It it just it just is something that you need. Like it's, <laughs> it has the um, a new look to it. The old one was a little different. Um, they gave you a little more, I guess, control over stuff. Um, the dates of the records are a little easier to kind of control now. Um, it has a spin down option where you can kind of do like, um, have this as a automation and spin down at certain points if you want to do that. This is the, the speed of the actual record or the record that you're actually putting on there. So there was, um, you know, the 33s, which is really slow and uh, really big. Then you had the 45s were a little smaller. And then uh, the 78s where it, it went a lot faster as you see it spinning faster here. So all of those actually give you a different feel. Um, the wear and uh, the lo-fi option, it just helps out the track so much. See it taking out a lot of the, the lows. It adds your mechanical noise just by dragging this. Definitely a must-have. Uh, it's just called vinyl now. It's not just isotope vinyl. It's just vinyl. You just go to the isotope and actually get that uh, plugin. Definitely something that you should have uh, if you're using Cakewalk. I believe if you're doing this and you don't have like a RC20 in order to actually manipulate the sound that way, isotope vinyl is the way to go. All right, let's move along. All right, and the next one is this uh, TDR Nova. I know a lot of people talk about this plugin, but it's it's something that you need inside a Cakewalk just to give you a more visual than um, the Sonatas, um, Sonitas, or however you say it, uh, plugins. It just gives you more visual uh, of what you're actually affecting inside of the mixes itself. So it just, um, you want to turn it on, you just hit this in, and then let's say you want to kind of boost this up, but you didn't want it to um, really go over, you turn on your threshold, and you turn it up, so whenever it hits, it kind of levels it out, so it doesn't really peak or go like out of control, where you can't uh, see what's going on with it. Um, 
You can also do this same thing with the Sonatas uh, multiband, but it's just not as visual as this. So I would say you would definitely need to get this if you're actually using the uh, Cakewalk. You can put this on your master, you can put it on individual channels, you can put it on vocals. Um, it's not really uh, PC heavy or intensive. So I would say definitely TDR Nova is something you must, must have uh, in Cakewalk. Next one is one of my favorites. I actually have a video kind of dedicated to this, and that is the Finisher Micro. It gives you like, yes, the Finisher Micro. It gives you like 26 different modes in here. You can click here to actually see the modes that you actually have. And I believe there's 26 of them. Um, I use it in cakewalk all the time on my melodies um i actually made a rack for it and i call it xl colors and i used the big knob for the amount and chose whatever one mode i wanted to actually use and i love it it's it's just great like i'm gonna go to my effects chain presets go to my xl colors and i'm gonna hit open all right, and here we are, XL color. So what I've done is actually use Fin Micros for all of these knobs. And I named what they are under here. And I can just manipulate it however I want. I can give it like that uh, RC20 kind of feel. Take off some of the lows. Put some reverb on there. And it gives it so much different color. If I take it away. And this is what you want to actually have to manipulate your sounds. And this is the Fin Macro, like I said, one of my favorites. And um, I think it's a must have for a cakewalk. Uh, so you can actually do things like this and just, just create your own little effects rack. Just put the knobs on here and actually link them to the actual uh, fin macros. And there you go. And as you'll see, like um, this knob controls. This knob controls that knob. That's pretty much, that's all I did. And set them up for each one and give them each a knob. Really, really dope. Really, really easy. But let's move along. All right. So this is the uh, free clip by Vin Audio. This is something that you should have. Um, this I would say is a must-have. Just the fact that it's a clipper and it helps out with um, your drum, so you can actually get it to have that loud thump without it actually going over or peaking. Um, I think this is a, a must have for Cakewalk and it's pretty simple to actually use. You have your gain, you have your clip to make it a uh, harder or softer. And uh, as you see, the line is actually moving around. Uh, you have your ceiling, you have your um, output and your clipping. So yeah, I would definitely um, suggest to actually have this in your arsenal. It's a must have in my opinion, if you're actually, if you don't have um, a paid for a clipper, like uh, say like a T-Rex um, clipper, stuff like that, then I would definitely suggest to get this free clip. Um, it's a must have. I mean, there's nothing else to say about it. It's a must have for sure. All right. And uh, I believe this is my last must have plugin. It's OTT. It's a compressor. It gives your sounds a color that um, I haven't heard another compressor actually really do. So I would highly suggest to get this. It's free. Um, yeah, just get it. <laughs> it's a must have.
yes, OTT is another must have for Cakewalk. You must have these plugins. I mean, uh, without them, you'll feel like some things are actually missing. So I would definitely highly suggest to get all these plugins that I did suggest in this video. All of them are absolutely free. Um, I'll try to leave a link below so you can actually go and download all of these plugins and use them for yourself. Find out what you need, what you're missing, what can actually give you that extra oomph in your tracks. But with that being said, if y'all uh, like this video so far, definitely like and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them below. And once again, it's your boy x.e.l.o. Until next time, people. Peace.